Hi everyone. Now we are going to discuss a topic called spoilage of canned foods. So this is the last part of uh, food spoilage commodities. So in the other two parts we had seen the spoilage of fruits and vegetables then spoilage of fish and meat and in this part we mainly concentrate on the spoilage of canned foods. So what are these canned foods? The food present in a canned uh, proce processing is being called as canned foods, isn't it? Then what is a canning? So here comes the canning. So canning is defined as a preservation of foods in a sealed containers and usually implies heat treatment as the principal factor in the prevention of spoilage. So that is going to be called as canning so this canning is also called as appetization where we have majorly discussed this canning or appetization in the topic called food preservation you can have a look in that video and now in this part we majorly paying attention on the spoilage of these canned foods so look at we are having so many canned foods okay and when you open it you are going to have a spoiled food like this okay uh, most canning is done in tin cans made up of uh, coated steel or in a glass containers or plastic as pouches or of a composite materials. In simplest terms, the following procedure is followed for canning. So what is that uh, procedure? R a raw food is going to be taken. Uh, and that is going to be freshly harvested uh, especially and properly prepared and then inspected for any damages all these things and then graded and then thoroughly washed before introduction into the can and many vegetable foods are blanched what is meant by blanching so you are going to have a, a dipping of that uh, food in a water and in hot water and you are removing that is called as a blanching so uh, great more many vegetables so here many vegetables or blanch are thoroughly washed before introduction into the can or before packing so here the blanching washes what is this blanching doing washes the food further and the foods are going to be softened uh, that means the tissue on the soften the tissues to aid packing and kills the microorganisms and even a brine consisting of salt solution or salt plus sugar is added to some canned vegetables and sometimes a sugar syrups to fruits also being added for the preservation process that is during this canning process. The container is evacuated before sealing uh, usually by heating headspace or unfilled part of the container but often by mechanical means and now these canned foods are going to be classified into four types so how they are going to be taken so the canned foods are going to be classified into four types so before going into the concept of spoilage of canned foods let's have a uh, knowledge a little bit knowledge about this canned foods that's why i'm telling all these things now the canned foods are going to be classified into four types as i told you the group 1 is going to have the low acidic foods with a pH of about 5.3 and uh, the foods that are coming under this one is going to be peas, corns, beans or vegetables of this group and meat, fish also comes under the acidic groups. Then the group 2 is going to be of medium acidic uh, group where the pH is going to be ranged between 5.3 to 4.5 and the uh, examples comes or the foods comes under this category are pumpkins beetroots and asparagus and then coming to the group three so majorly of acidic groups isn't it the first and second are low and medium and the third group obviously comes as the acidic groups and the ph range from 4.5 to 3.7 and our tomatoes peas and the red cabbage comes under this group of acidic groups and then coming to the group four is going to be of highly acidic groups where pH is going to be of below 3.7 so your berries and so so got is going to come under this category so that's how the canned foods are going to be classified into four groups depending upon their pH that is acidic nature so then now coming to the causes of canned food spoilage so what are the causes okay we had our food uh, can and what are the reasons how they are getting spoiled so the causes for the 
spoilage uh, of canned foods may be because of chemical or biological or sometimes both okay the most uh, important kind of chemical spoilage of canned foods is by the hydrogen swells and this resulting from the pressure of hydrogen gas released by the action of uh, the acid food that is present on on the iron in the container isn't it? so this chemical spoilage is mainly the reaction of the container and the food if the food is going to be the acid it will uh, going to have some sort of a reaction with the this container and they are releasing the hydrogen gas okay and this hydrogen swells are favored by increasing uh, acidities of food increasing temperatures of uh, storage and then imperfection of tins that uh, that is while they are uh, tinning that means making the tin and lacquering of the interior of the can so these are all going to have this imperfection and a poor exhaust of the food and the presence of soluble sulfur and phosphorus compounds so these are all will enhance the reaction of uh, the acidity uh, acidic nature of the food and the tin okay and favors the hydrogen swells and then coming to the second tab is the biological spoilage so this biological spoilage of canned food uh, is going to be uh, occurring by microorganisms may result from either uh, one cause or by the these two causes what are those two causes one is survival of organism after the heat treatment you think that during the canning process the microorganisms were dead but still there may be a chance of having the survival so that can lead to the spoilage and then second one leakage of the container after the heat process permitting the entrance of organism so maybe one of it may be the reason for the biological spoilage or both are going to be the reason for or cause for the biological spoilage then uh, the three important types of biological spoilage of uh, commercially canned foods are we are having three types one is a flat source spoilage then TA spoilage that is thermophilic anaerobic spoilage then putrefication so these are the three important types of biological spoilage commercially we will find in the canned foods then coming to the first one what is a flat source spoilage this kind of the spoilage derives its name from the fact that the ends of the uh, can of food remain flat so that means the food is going to be flat it is not going to have any uh, change in the structured appearance that is have a normal can cavity during sowing because the can retains a normal outward appearance that's what i told you so the can is not going to have any change in its appearance this type of the spoilage can't be detected by examination of unopened can but must be detected by cultural method so unless you open the container you won't find any damage so external appearance will be of very uh, good this spoilage occurs chiefly in low acidic foods so what are our low acidic foods i gave you the examples uh, like uh, peas corns and beans isn't it and those are all going to be uh, damaged by this flat source spoilage and the organism which are involved are mainly bacillus species and even the flat source spoilage of uh, acid foods are also occurring in tomatoes the tomatoes comes under the uh, high, uh, high acidic not high acidic the third group that is acidic foods which is having the ph of 4.5 to 3.7 isn't it so there also you are going to find the damage of those tomatoes all these things by this uh, flat soil spoilage and this is going to be especially by a bacteria called, uh, called as a bacillus coagulans which is a facultatively thermophilic uh, species okay so then this is all about the flat source spoilage the first type of uh, biological spoilage is flat source spoilage where we won't have any external appearance of uh, spoilage of the canned foods then coming to the second type that is TA spoilage what is meant by TA thermophilic anaerobic bacteria or anaerobic microorganisms and one more thing that you have to remember is here they are not producing any H2S gas that means hydrogen sulfide gas won't be produced so thermophilic anaerobic back microorganisms or anaerobes that are not producing any h2s gas so this uh, bacterium causing 
this type of the spoilage is the clostridium dermosaccharolytica which is an uh, uh, dermophilic obligate dermophilic anaerobe which do not produce h2 as i already showed you and some sort of uh, happening the in this one is uh, a sugar splitting obligately thermophilic spore forming anaerobe that forms acid and gas so it is going to produce the acid and gas okay what is that acid and gas one is H co2 and hydrogen gases and obviously acids some sort of acids are being produced majorly in uh, low acidic medium foods that is or uh, medium acidic foods example your spinach asparagus beets pumpkins we can find this kind of the spoilage that is ta spoilage the gas a mixture of carbon dioxide and hydrogen gas can swell the can if it is held long enough at high temperature eventually causes bursting so it will burst the can will burst the spoiled food usually has a sore order what is that order called as sore order so this is all about the ta spoilage so we had seen the flat source spoilage ta spoilage and next one uh, type of spoilage is putrefication so what is this putrefication means anaerobic decomposition of protein with the production of false spelling compounds like h2s ammonia or amines is being called as putrefication whereas in the ta we didn't find the h2s production but here in this putrefication we will have this h2s gas production and this spoilage is mainly caused by clostridium nigrificans and this is found in low acid foods like peas and corns and this uh, the spores well, how it is going to retain after canning means the spores of this bacterium have considerably uh, less heat resistant than those of plant and ta bacteria and hence their appearance in canned foods is an indicative so that means the appearance of this one is going to be indicative of uh, gross under processing the organism is an obligate dermophile so temperature should be high to grow then hydrogen sulfide is formed in the canned peas uh, or corns and evident by order when the can is open so when you open the can you are going to have a h2s gas for uh, smell or the ammonia for that you can say that the uh, food was spoiled isn't it okay in general canned meats and fish exhibit two types of the spoilage we have discussed about the spoilage of meat spoilage of fish in other part isn't it and here we i am just uh, notifying the meat and fish uh, in the canned form okay that is canned meat and fish and these two are going to exhibit two types of the spoilages one is softening and soaring caused by bacillus species and the second one is putrid swells caused by clostridium sporogenes and sometimes occasionally aerobacillus species produce acid and gas and swells the can and even the canned cured meats which are given a heat process insufficient for sterilization such as a uh, ham or lichen meats may be subjected to the production of uh, gases like uh, carbon dioxide nitrogen oxides nitrogen gases etc by these uh, species called as bacillus species okay and sometimes the putrefication can also be done by the clostridium species and spoilage without gas production but with the sporing and changes in color and texture maybe because of again by this bacillus species and because of the homo uh, fermentative lactic acid bacteria like uh, streptococcus uh, faecalis okay and then coming to the canned sweet and condensed milk so milk is going to be in the canned form so how it is going to be spoiled so the canned ca sweetened condensed milk may be spoiled either by yeast bacteria and mouse isn't it and milk may become gassy because of yeast or coliform bacteria and sometimes it may become thickened also that is because of the micrococcus species and it may develop buttons which consists of small masses of uh, um, mold mycelium so these are all the uh, several types of uh, uh, canned foods that are being uh, damaged by this uh, different types of uh, microorganisms so that's way finishes of the 
spoilage of uh, canvas and this is an important topic as a short notes uh, for your exams okay and that's we end the spoilage of uh, foods or food spoilage topic in detail with this uh, spoilage of canned foods thank you